I'm Shay Russell for Mining.com.au and joining me today is the Managing Director of Pivotal Metals, Ivan Fairhall. Ivan, how are you this morning? Very good, Shay. Very good. Great to be on. Well, of course you're very good when you've got results like this coming through. Now, I believe the data that we're about to talk about today is a first look at the rocks from the north when it comes to your Horden Lake deposit. Mate, talk me through some of these key numbers. That's right. Uh, more exciting developments at Horden Lake. We've, we've stepped out in multiple directions in this drill program. And as you say, importantly, uh, these results are the first results from our northern extension drilling uh, in, on the project. So we've stepped outside the resource envelope, envelope uh, and we've hit some, some, you know, some superstar grades here, demonstrated continuity uh, of the mineralization, increasing grade actually, uh, in this case, the, the hollow, the very shallow hole from surface, 8.2 metres at 3.2% copper equivalent. So that's, that's really nice stuff. It starts at surface, which is well, from 5.8 metres, which is where the bedrock starts below a thin layer of glacial till. Um, so it's outside the open pit zone. We've looked to extend that open pit to capture mineralisation like this. We've stepped out below that um, uh, with hole 115. And, and there's some geophysics that hangs off that that's really exciting. So yeah, really, really encouraging developments here in the north and, and, and looking to, to hopefully share more results as we move forward. Now this announcement revealed that there was a precious metals content uh, out in the north. Tell me, did these results surprise you and what does this mean going forward? Yeah, they did. Look, those super star grades are, are uh, being driven in, in, in a large part by really high pressures and PGE mineralisation. So, so we've been seeing that uh, in the multi-element assay drilling, but here we've, we've got you know, part of this intersection, 3.2 metres at 6.5 grams a tonne of gold, 325 of silver and 2 grams of palladium. So, so when you remember the big parts of the Horton Lake deposit, including this area, um, well, this is a new area, but even the area around this have only ever been assayed for copper, copper and nickel. So by completing this multi-element assay, we're surfacing extra value previously overlooked on the deposit. So yes, it was a bit of a surprise to see grades like that, but obviously a very, very pleasant surprise and that contributes quite a lot of value. Um, down plunge, you know, we've stepped out, we've got wide zone of mineralisation, multiple zones of high grade mineralisation above 1.1% copper equivalent. Uh, it's wet, again, well outside the resource boundary, good continuity along strike uh, and, um, and, and an extension in an area with really no historic drilling. So um, there's more in fact. And so with, in addition to the drilling, uh, we've done downhole EM and it shows a big, deep and very high conductive anomaly uh, at depth below this drilling. Um, it's outside, again, falls outside the resource zone. Uh, we've got, still got really great correlation on the margin with the known mineralisation. So, you know, we really understand quite well the plunge of the mineralisation and the, the shape of the ore body. And this, this correlates really well with that. Uh, so we've got depth continuity, clear upside potential. Um, you know, and the reality is in this program, we haven't drilled a single hole that didn't return a significant mineralised intercept. And so we know Horton Lake's underexplored and we're excitedly working through the program details of how to continue to extend the project. So listen, Horton Lake has gone from surprise to surprise in the past couple of months. And I know you're a little over halfway through your drill program. This is probably a little unfair to ask given the stunning results that you continue to give back to the market. But mate, what other surprises have you got in store for us over the next few months? Well, look, we've been releasing lots of results. Uh, we've also, and, and that's around the mineralised, the main mineralised body stepping out, stepping out further with the regional potential, a long strike, parallel zones. Um, so lots of great news for shareholders. But as you say, we're always looking forward. We've got another seven holes to release uh, from the north. They're pending in the lab. Uh, it's a bit more downhole in associated with those uh, results. So more exciting, you know, developments in this new area. So that, that's really something to keep an eye on. Our test work program's kicked off. Uh, we'll be following up that with a resource update. And, and look, above all, given these results, we're planning for more exploration to, to continue to build the mineralised footprint here. So, so watch this space. There's plenty happening. Uh, listen, Ivan, thank you so much for being here today. This is a great conversation and just love to see how Horton Lake is progressing. Can't wait to chat to you next time. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me on, Shane.